Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. In case you can't tell, I am not in my normal spot here. I am actually in New York. <clears throat> Why am I in New York? I'm in New York because I was lucky enough to win tickets to uh, Ski Lift. Thank you, Mike McLaughlin, who you should check out his stories on Facebook.com. And you should also check out Arcadia Grill. Uh, won some tickets to a snowboarding resort, which is why I am in fact doing a views. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it a little bit short to make sure that it does have enough time to load tonight. So we're going to do just three real quick. Uh, that way, you know, the channel is not dead and I'm still doing my thing, as it were. <clears throat> this is from voiceofrussia.com. TEPCO halts toxic water, water treatment system at Fukushima plant. This is not good news. Um, for those of you that have followed this, they have been uh, trying forever to maximize the efficiency of the cleanup here. And to a large degree, even though they can't get the tritium out of the water, getting the other radioactive isotopes out of there have been of utmost importance. And uh, it's continuing to go very badly. Uh, Tokyo Electric Power Company said Wednesday that it had suspended a radioactive water treatment system at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant due to deteriorating performance. The operator found Tuesday that one of the three lines in the cleanup system did not eliminate radioactive material sufficiently. Tokyo Electric halted all three lines called the Advanced Liquid Processing System, ALPS, but did not detect any defects on the other two, said Akasuka Kabayashi, a company spokesman. The operator has been investigating the problem since Tuesday, Kabayashi said. The system, it goes on, is regarded as a key faculty to deal with the massive amounts of water uh, that is radioactive, of course, at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station as the operator continues to inject water into three of its six reactors to keep them cool. The plant suffered, of course, as uh, we've reported frequently, meltdowns in March of uh, 2011. It says that uh, TEPCO, which it deals with the aftermath of the Fukushima 1 nuclear disaster, and ensures the future stability found Tuesday that one of the water filtering systems was not functioning properly. Friends, that's been happening almost for as long as we've been dealing with this. It's again and again and again. It sounds like I'm doing the exact same show I was two years ago. It's because we're dealing with the same BS. TEPCO stopped the operations of all three radioactive water cleanup systems referred to as Advanced Liquid Processing System. Uh, the problem with ALPS is that they're going to go ahead and if they can't do anything with this, they're just going to continue dumping it into the ocean. That's the, that's the big fear. It says the isotopes have been detected at very low levels at the Canadian sampling point, far out to sea earlier than the models predicted, but not yet reported at the beach. Uh, that's not true. There have been reports of radioactivity at the beach. Um, basically... The governments of both the USA and Canada, I would argue that uh, <clears throat> both are doing a horrible job, maybe USA even worse. Um, Underreporting, misreporting, all out lying, uh, a few facts thrown in the middle just to keep you believing them. And the trouble is this is an ongoing issue and even something as simple as filtering out the water, which is something that we supposedly already have the science to do, is it working right? Uh, let's keep in mind that they have admitted that we don't even have the science to actually shut the plant down. It's something we have to develop. Well, if things that were already developed are going this poorly, then you can see uh, with very little imagination where the rest of it's likely to go. Uh, filmingcops.com, a cop profited from, uh, profited, I can read, cop profited from ex-wives who paid to set up men for DUI arrests. Um, I've said forever, the, the DUI laws in this country have absolutely nothing to do with keeping you safe. It has to do, however, with raising a lot of money for the state, um, over and over and over again. Um, I've gone over this at nauseum. Who pays the most for drinks? Uh, those who have the most money to pay for drinks usually drink mixed drinks. Well, if your bartender is worth a damn, and she doesn't just give you a shot, she gives you more than a shot. That way the one shot an hour thing doesn't work and they can get more money out of people because, let's face it, the people that are doing shots usually have a little more money to spend than those who are doing Budweiser's for $2 at happy hour. 
um, a, a number of things. Um, nobody, absolutely nobody whatsoever, is any danger, any more danger at point oh eight than they are at absolutely none. If you believe so, you're an idiot. Um, but it's their excuse to be able to get money from you. How do we fight this? We fight this by finding t 10, 20,000 people in one state that all refuse to uh, do anything. By that I mean we will not renew our licenses, we will not get insurance, we will not pay fines. If enough people did that, there isn't anything that they could do about it. Mass denial, as I always say, is the way to go. Uh, Contra Costa Sheriff Deputy Stephen Tanabe, it might be Tanabe, has been convicted of aiding in the setup of multiple men who were enticed by women to drive with alcohol. Attractive actresses would go into bars and pressure men to drink and then leave in their cars, according to reports. Tanabe would wait outside, and as soon as the men began driving, he would arrest them for a DUI. That's what scum does. He was able to profit off of this scheme because he would specifically target men whose ex-wives wanted them to get arrested. The ex-wives would then pay money once the men were arrested successfully. No surprise. I bet this happens quite frequently. This was a case where what this officer did was wrong and was basically negotiating and receiving money <clears throat> or property to do his job, which did, said the Judge Breyer, who sentenced to name, Tanaby, whatever it is. Jerk! Um, but he did so with the knowledge that the circumstances of the offenses were initiated by others, he added. The jury convicted Tanaby for conspiracy and extortion in connection with at least three men who were arrested in Danville. The arrests were known as dirty DUIs. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty good description of it. <clears throat> the actresses used in the conspiracy were attractive and hired by a private investigator named Christopher Butler, also scum. Butler had female clients uh, who were going through divorces, and these clients offered to pay to have their ex-husbands set up and arrested. Butler's actresses uh, would go into bars, find the men, and then pressure them to drive away after drinking. Butler would alert Tanaby about the targets, and they would begin driving away, and Tanaby would make the arrest. That's why we need to eliminate these sorts of things. If we all mass defiance, if we all just refuse to pay any of this, there isn't any way that they can jail everyone. You can't jail up, as I always say. Every doctor, every ditch digger, every driver, every... Uh, clerk, every maid. You can't do that. It's not going to work. They're only going to be able to go after the most egregious. And the rest of us, we just keep on driving and keep not paying their fines. There's nothing they can do if we do this in great enough numbers. Friends, uh, I'm going to get one more story. Again, it's a short one because I want to make sure the internet here at this little hotel I'm staying at is able to get this loaded by the time I have to check out. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to say if you're in Canton, Ohio, make sure you check out the Arcadia Grill. And not only do they sponsor the food, I uh, sponsor the food. Not only do they sponsor the show, but they have amazing food. How's that? And if you want something really good to eat, you want a drink made right, you want to go to the Arcadia Grill. And if you want to get some amazing um, short stories to read, look up Mike McLaughlin. He's on Facebook. And um, he is another greatly underrated talent. And I'm proud to have him as a sponsor on the show. Go to Facebook.com, look up Mike McLaughlin, and let him know that you're interested in purchasing some of his short stories and tell him Sam sent you from the correct view. And then uh, go ahead to Arcadia Grill and read them while you're eating your delicious ravioli. Last thing I'm going to get to, ibtimes.co.uk, the International Business Times. Saudi cleric issues fatwa against all-you-can-eat buffets. That means we must be here for the dumdy of the day. For those of you that don't know, whoever does the absolute stupidest thing is in running for the much-revered Dunce Cap of the Month. Yours truly, I have sent, along with Christelle, the behind-the-scenes queen, we have sent Dunce Caps to FBI. We have sent them to police stations. We have sent them to judges. We have sent them to whoever is guilty of the stupidest thing in any given week, a month. Well, it got to the point where with so much research being done into the show, I couldn't get to all the stupid people that I came across. So I started the dumb D of the day. These people don't get dunce caps mailed to them. But they are stupid enough that they were definitely in the running. And uh, this Saudi cleric uh, is definitely one of the stupidest people I've ever heard of in my life. 
A Saudi cleric named Salah al Falzan has issued fatwa against all you can eat buffets in Saudi Arabia. He made the statement on Saudi Quranic TV station. Farzan said the value and quality of the food sold should be predetermined beforehand. Whoever enters the buffet and eats 10 to 50 rials without deciding the quantity they will eat is violating Sharia Islamic law. Farzan was quoted as the Al Athir channel. Who gives a rat's ass about Sharia law? Am I the only one that could take Sharia law and wipe my butt with it? Is it just me? Who gives a rat's ass what they want? I'd have another piece of pizza just to piss them off. The fatwa attempts to add plate piling eateries to the long list of things outlawed by religious edicts that has uh, been subject to condemnation and debate on social media channels. Again, you don't even have to be guilty of gluttony, which you know, obviously could be sinful. You're just showing up there because you haven't already made up your mind is against their boneheaded uh, belief system. The fatwa attempts to add plate-piling eateries to the long list of things outlawed by religious edicts. It says, uh, while some Twitter users slammed the cleric's fatwa by using the hashtag prohibiting open buffet in Arabic, others tweeted supporting it. That's because they're stupid. Here are some reactions to the fatwa for all-you-can-eat buffets. And now buffet is not allowed. Saudi fatwa. Fatwa prohibits all-you-can-eat offers. Um, fatwa against all you can eat buffets, you can't even parody this stuff and we're supposed to respect it. No, we're not. We're supposed to give them a one finger salute and realize there's a reason they just won the dumb day of the day. Friends, you are listening to The Correct View, short edition because I'm out here on the road in a hotel enjoying a little bit of my vacation time, but I wanted to make sure I posted for all of you watching. Please go to TheMediaSpeaks.com and look up the work of Kyle Coit, D. Lake, and myself. We're always posting, um, usually videos, but lots of written works as well. Uh, you can donate to the show by going to the correct views at hotmail.com, and every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. Friends, thank you for watching. Make sure you share this video. That's what helps me the most, friends. Good night, and God bless.